Okay, hello everyone. Video 68 is going to demonstrate uh, how to do optical character recognition with X-Ways Forensics. Um, it's a functionality that was added to X-Ways Forensics a couple of years ago now. Amusingly for me, it came shortly after I'd spent some time creating an extension to do optical character recognition and the integration within X-Ways Forensics natively is indeed far better than my effort was. So um, in order to use it, you obviously will need to have a case set up. So in here, I've put the usual training image that comes when you sit on a training class with the x ways Forensics team. Um, and so far, I've just created a new case and added the forensic image to it. I, I may just want to run this normally, but for the purposes of demonstration, I'll pretend like I'm actually going through a normal case where you would typically refine the volume snapshot also known as processing a case in in other tools so i've got the various options that i would typically choose to do um, and click ok to ensure that that forensic image has got as much information in it as possible including picture files that may be embedded in other file types so the purposes of optical character recognition is of course to recognize characters from within picture files typically so that's now finished and in order to run the actual ocr there's a couple of things you need to have in place first so the first one is under the um under the options of x ways forensics you'll notice there's a file viewing section here and over in the right is the tesseract ocr settings for it you're supposed to download the tesseract library from the website and put it uh, usually in the in a subfolder of your x ways Forensics installation. I think you can put it somewhere else, but you'll obviously need to specify it more specifically with the ellipsis here. Um, I've got it, I've basically extracted it from the zip file and put it under my x ways Forensics installation folder, so uh, it knows that's where it is. Uh, if you click OK and you get an error message saying it can't find it, it probably means you've unzipped the Tesseract library, which has got a top level folder and then a subfolder called Tesseract as well. So you might need to change your folder arrangement or just click the ellipsis and explicitly state it. I don't, it probably depends on the scale of your job, but I don't think you necessarily need to have uh, the give external process more time ticked, uh, depending on, uh, unless you have kind of performance issues or, or problems like that. So, so that's now ticked and enabled. Um, so we're all good there. So then in order to run the OCR itself, we use the blue binoculars at the top here, not to be confused with the search results uh, toggle, which is down here. So we click up here under simultaneous search and uh, we choose uh, the words that we would hope to find. Now, x ways Forensics have gone down the route of effect and which makes perfect sense is to put your keywords that you're looking for in and then it will see using OCR if any of those words appear in the picture files. So by default, this is unticked. So I'm gonna tick it to say, search basically yeah, JPEGs, PNGs. These are the default ones that X-Ways Forensics has in. You can add a delimited list of other file types in there if you want to, but for the purposes of demonstration, I'm not going to. And you can omit files that are filtered out, of course, which will make a big difference potentially to the time this will take to execute. So at the moment, it's going to search all files in the volume snapshot, which this is a tiny forensic image, remember. Uh, so that this could quite conceivably be gigabytes of information in a normal case. I'm just going to cancel that for now. And the first thing I'm going to do is use my type filter um, and basically enable it for pictures. To, so it's filtering out everything else. So if I right click here and do explore recursively, it will show me, and if I go to gallery view, it will show me all the pictures. So these are all the pictures that it's found in this particular case. So with my type filter enabled, if I now go to simultaneous search, these are the three words that I'm gonna search for, which I have a strong suspicion should come back from one or more of these picture files. Um, obviously, bear in mind, optical ca character recognition is not an exact science. Um, there are times when people may have expected or assumed that a word would 
be extracted from a picture, but it's not necessarily 100% uh, accurate. And I talk, I don't mean that in the specific reference of X-ray forensics, I mean it as a general concept. It's not, it's not always uh, proven to be f fully bulletproof, but it is a very good way of expediting searches for certain kinds of information across pictures. Okay, so if I now tick that, say emit filters, the uh, files that are filtered out, you'll see that my overall volume reduces significantly to 33 meg. Yeah, so we have emit files that are filtered out and we obviously need to ensure that we tick the OCR box because if these words, uh, that they may be contained in other documents, but um, we're specifically looking for them in this context in, uh, in picture files. So if we click OK to that, it will go away and perform its OCR over the picture files uh, after it gives us a little warning about emitting directories, uh, which I'm going to... OK, so it's done that and it's reported five occurrences. So if I click the View button, it will show me the results in the usual kind of uh, search hits uh, view that you would typically get uh, the file name the context of the hit here um, and i've added the path which some of you may or may not know that when you're in the uh, results view of the search if you go to options and directory browser in that view you can have a different uh, layout of columns so you can add you know pixel dimensions and order these up and down so i've added the path into mine and moved it alongside the file name. Um, anyway, so here's the views, and as you can see, uh, your grandfather told me it's found that in this file, which as a reminder, if we click preview, it will show me there. In this file here, uh, it's found this search term, uh, which is from there, and uh, it's found Oasis, but uh, obviously this is an icon. Okay, so and I, I think I think using the keyword search method of doing it is really useful because it ensures that you're actually only adding to your case information that's relevant to the words that you're actually looking for. The extension that I made would create a child object for each picture file uh, in the form of a text file, and it would contain um, the the recognised characters from the picture as a child object, which obviously in some cases a lot of that would be false positives anyway although the advantage to some extent was that you had textual items that you could do further things with so you could maybe export them and they were kind of attached if you like to each picture but i think this way is certainly better um, it, both methods use the tesseract technology which is uh, google's open source technology but yeah the the way that uh, is implemented in sex waste forensics works really well in my opinion okay so that's it optical character recognition uh, within x waste forensics so i'll see you in the next video thanks guys bye bye